story breaking in just the last hour or so. The Wisconsin Supreme Court ruling Robert F. Kennedy Jr. will remain on November's presidential ballot. Our chief political reporter Charles Benson has been covering this story for us. No big surprise here, Steve. This is Robert F. Kennedy Jr.'s third and perhaps final attempt to try to get his name off the Wisconsin ballot. Kennedy dropped out of the race in August and endorsed Donald Trump. Kennedy claims he gave the state enough time to get off the ballot. But state law is pretty clear. Once an independent candidate asks and qualifies to get on the ballot, the only way the candidates can be removed is if they die. Kennedy is currently polling at 6% in the most recent Marquette Law School poll. That's significant given how close the head-to-head -head race is between Kamala Harris and Donald Trump. She currently leads by 4% with five weeks to go until Election Day. Another key point here, Steve, is that there are more than 440,000 ballots that have already been sent out to Wisconsin voters with Kennedy's name on it, and about 42,000 people have already voted in Wisconsin. So, based on this decision by the state Supreme Court, his name will remain on the ballot. In the newsroom, Charles Benson, TMJ4 News.